Hi, Joe. Hello. You look nice. Thank you. I thought I'd go low key today. Do I need boots? No. Nah. God, it's quite. It's bloody knackering when you see the size of a pitch, isn't it? I just having to run all the, all along. <laughs> Score the best goal with this plastic bag. You may not handbag the bag. Yeah, it's like a handball, but with a bag. Oh. Most skillful, fastest and fewest kicks wins. No boots for me. No trainers. Does your time start now? I was just checking on the trainer front. I've got high heels on. Get the bag into the goal. You've got to score a goal with it. Your time starts now. <laughs> Score the best goal with this plastic bag. Okay, you ready? Off we go. He's off. He's off. Here I go. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> Craig, we felt sorry for you. <laughs> Thought you needed a bit of encouragement, but in fact, you are a glorious bagballer. <laughs> incredible. I mean, and I've never seen a reaction in a studio like that in my life, Hugh. It's incredible. <laughs> Someone got so excited, they sh shouted out a wooga. <laughs> which is a catchphrase from a 90s TV show. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm going to refer back to Gladiators. <laughs> do you want to know the stats? Oh, God, I do. Well, three seconds quicker than Joe and zero kicks at all. Zero kicks? Drag, 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 spin, spin, spin. That is how you play it. That's how you play it. Yeah. Place these three exercise balls on the yoga mat. On the top of that hill. <laughs> that hill? The task is complete when all three balls sit fully inflated and stationary on the mat. Fastest wins. The time starts now. Up there. Are you serious? You might as well take two balls. Someone already tried to carry all three at once. Don't think I can do three. <laughs> feel like going up to the top of the hill and just keeping these from blowing away. I, I just need them to be stationary on a yoga mat. That's so kind of you. <laughs> and I think that some strong women working together is the fastest way to do anything. Just need to sit here. So if you keep those there, I'll get the other one. Thanks, ladies. No. <laughs> you don't feel like doing me a huge favor, do you? Could you wait and just make sure these don't roll down? I'm just going to run and get the ball, and that is it, and you can go about your day. Just give me two minutes, please. Don't let the ball roll down. Oh, ladies. So all we got to do is get these on that mat. We can sit on them. Doesn't say don't sit okay. on them. OK, I've stopped the clock. Well done. Yeah, <laughs> there you are. OK. Well done, Doc. You OK? Yeah, I feel good. <laughs> You look like you had a massive game plan to me at the beginning because you went, ah, OK, it's going to be windy up there. Mm. That gave me some hope because you mm. were thinking. Mm. And then you used the old, put the tiny rock on the massive ball. 
<laughs> I, I realised immediately when I got up there that even just getting a decent-sized rock out of the ground was it was going to be impossible. So I, I was trying to pull like tiny pebbles out of the ground, <laughs> keep them stable. <laughs> That's a T and an M. Get the lowest golf score using eggs. You must complete the five holes using chicken's eggs. Your score will be calculated as follows. Shots times eggs times minutes. Your time starts now. I seem to remember that if you hit them on the point of the egg, they don't break. That was incorrect. Bob's a bit eggy. <laughs> I don't even know if morally I'm allowed to do this. It's impossible, this one. What's the windmill got to do with it? <laughs> You're in my way, man. <laughs> if that'll go over. <laughs> Done. Which was the problem hold for you? I think it might be the one that I used over two dozen eggs on, maybe. I think that might be. Just off the top of my head, that probably is. <laughs> I've used two eggs. Oh, I've got to boil the eggs, haven't I? I'm boiling the eggs. <laughs> From what I remember, it's three minutes. Come on. Hang on. I don't know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's got a slight lead. Just play the game. I wonder whether I could have boiled them for longer. Slight egg issues. But it's in. Oh, this is the big one. More confidence needed. Oh, hello, Phil. <laughs> hello, James. Hula. <laughs> hula. You have one minute. Your time starts now. Are you ready for the hula hoopers? Am I? So, they were told to hula for one minute. This is what they did. I've never been able to hula. Oh, oh. oh that's all right. It's OK, that. Hurts! Hurts! <sighs> oh! I've never done this before. This is the first. Oh, boy. Thank you. Improve your hooling. Greatest improvement wins. You have until the studio shows. The time starts now. I don't know if anyone else found that as traumatic as I did. <laughs> I could not take my eyes off it. You didn't have a choice. It doesn't matter sometimes how ornate the grandfather clock is, <laughs> the pendulum draws the eye. <laughs> Are we basically saying that James has got to do more than six seconds to win this task? Well, it depends how many more seconds than 57 Wang does. 
It's who improves, who improves the most. And let's see how they do right now. You can have one attempt at this. Oh. When I blow my whistle, please start hoolering. Greatest improvement wins. <laughs> Hula. <laughs> I've been practicing so much. I've been practicing so much. I'm really good at it. I'm really good now. Well, I'm really good. I got no. I'm not nervous, I'm really good now. I've done really good. I mean, it is, it is impressive, isn't it? It's such a shame we've got to take his first attempt. <laughs> Wouldn't just take his second attempt, I would suggest. Which was spectacular. Them the rules, I'm afraid. Hello, mate. Oh, hello, Lou. Please stand this side of the rope. So... F*** it. <laughs> I'm... Oh. Travel the furthest distance while making a constant noise with your mouth. You must start travelling in 30 seconds from now. So it's going to be a constant noise? Yeah, I'm going to release you. Oh, OK. In 25 seconds I'm now. a bit out of breath, you see. Any sort of noise with your mouth? Uh, just briefly, why were you out of breath before you did the task? <laughs> <laughs> the walk <laughs> across the field. I just walked across the field. <laughs> <laughs> and I genuinely started reading the task going, well, how have I got out of breath? I need to reassess everything. Oh, li listen, I mean, it's almost certainly an underlying heart problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, good. <laughs> Here are Paul Sinar and Ian Sterling, together forever. Off you go. Uh... Where did, sorry, I, I got tired as well. Where did he stop? Here. <sighs> On my trousers. Got it on your leg. Yeah. <laughs> you took a breath right at the... Uh, did I? The flag, yeah. Why did you do that? So I ran out of breath. Ran out of breath, so you needed to breathe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A very poor vital capacity. You're not... Yes. No, I saw that. Oh, well, thank you. Bye. But I'm going to have to rewind that. <laughs> Uh, very poor vital capacity. Yeah. But how lovely to see one of the deleted scenes from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. <laughs> <laughs> Played out for eight seconds. <laughs> um, Ian, you know, pretty funky attempt, but that was not a continuous sound. It yeah. But the, nope, it, it wasn't. It, the beat in between, if there was the beat. Oh, the silence between those beats. There wasn't any. If it was a beat, it sounded to me like you were saying butter gather over <laughs> I was saying boots and cats. Boots and cats. That's how you do beatboxing. Is it? Boots and cats. 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 Hi. Hello, mate. Oh. Get to the microwave in as few steps as possible. And open the door before the microwave dings. There's five minutes on the clock. So the microwave is under that tree. Where have you plugged it in, then? It's the generator behind the tree. I didn't know those trees had generators. <laughs> as few steps as possible. As few steps as possible. A few steps as possible. The microwave... Starts now. OK, can I take you my coat? Yeah. Put it on if you want, mate. Nice in the sun, isn't it? Is right, it? Um, I'm going to roll there. <laughs> oh, quite a lot, quite far away, isn't it? <laughs> oh, 
，就天色，别给前面你天色困了。This is the future, mate. I'm gonna be covered in goose, aren't I? Oh. I feel I might be sick. Oh, I've just had a coffee as well. I've got the edge gonna explode. What other ways can I get there without stepping? <laughs> Just got to roll there, don't I? We'll think, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so, arguably, it's a more efficient way of transporting yourself about. Well, you, if more you... fun. I bet, don't have a big coffee beforehand. I thought it was me sick up my eyes. <laughs> I don't, you must have a very weak constitution. I don't know why <laughs> drinking a massive coffee and then rolling I around in goose would make you feel sick. <laughs> <laughs>